begin your journey to the stars. That's our website. I don't even know if I showed you it. Look at that. I five. It's so, it's so pretty. Undergraduate space education at your fingertips. Look at this, Ernie. Do you see that? probably clicked on this video because you may uh, sorry we have some issues with Ernie sometimes that's our astronaut you might have clicked on this video because your college or university may have just taken the one small step towards becoming an i5 detachment and one giant leap towards contributing to the Space Force's future or you may have just clicked on this video to figure out more of what an i5 detachment is or put more simply what is i5 here at i5, we pride ourselves in being the premier undergraduate space education organization that works towards developing the future Space Force leaders that we'll see in the United States, as well as promoting overall space-mindedness. Now, what is space-mindedness? Well, to be space-minded, you can't only love space, but you have to be involved in learning and understanding how it plays a role in your life and how you can potentially play a role in the future development of space-related technology or activities. And of course, anything else Space Force that you can think of. I-5 is a student-run organization that operates directly under the Space Force Training and Readiness Command. On the executive and developmental front, we are focused on providing education, training, and professional development opportunities to those who are interested in potentially pursuing a career in the latest branch in the United States military, the Space Force. And hey, if you haven't heard of us yet, then you're going to hear from us, and everyone else you know is going to hear of us because we've been growing exponentially in the past month. As of April 2022, we've literally grown to over 600 members across 40 different colleges and universities across the nation. And we're really, really proud to have partnerships with uh, the Space Force, of course, and NATO. All right. Here's the hard part. You gotta, you gotta become an I-5 detachment if you haven't already. It's really, really difficult. This is what it is out of 2022, okay? Here we go. Minimum of five cadets. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully people enjoy, uh, enjoy space enough in your detachment. One I-5 cadet commander. Some sort of faculty advisor who will be around to basically advise or mentor your I-5 detachment. Whether that be your ROTC commander or some other faculty advisor from your university. You gotta have some sort of technological device to attend I-5 related events throughout the year and to potentially host your own I-5 related events. And lastly, well, you gotta like space. So becoming an I-5 detachment is pretty simple. And if any of what I just told you changes, you're able to figure out what the latest up-to-date news regarding how to become an I-5 detachment is at our website, i5space.com. Does that make sense? Are you reading it left to right or right to left? Should I do my hand this way? I don't know, here it is. Check it out, it's also a really cool website. I love looking at it all the time. Probably shouldn't have said that. If you've already become one, then congratulations. Oh, sorry, what's that? What do you do now? That's the fun part. Your I-5 detachment is essentially your own sandbox. Now we've set really high expectations on the I-5 members, but don't worry, we've set even higher expectations on the developmental side. Now I think I've done enough talking. Let's have the I-5 Director of Development, Derek Fastola, tell you what we're doing on our end. Bro. I think John did a really great job of emphasizing that we want you guys to create initiatives, but at the same time, we're also trying to create things for you, our members. We have our Strat Talk series. We have CEOs, astronauts, Air Force and Space Force officers, generals, all coming in, sharing their knowledge with you. If you guys want someone to come speak, you can work that up to us and we can push that out to the greater I-5 community. We also have a mentorship program. So we have different active duty Space Force officers from all different career fields and their job is really to mentor you, our I-5 members. So you can submit a preference form and we will match you up with a mentor and that will be a really informal mentorship program. That will be uh, consists of questions like, you know, what does your career field consist of? But also, how do I buy a house? And, you know, what's it like to be in the Space Force? We also have some really cool research opportunities at I-5. Not only do we have a research partnership with NATO, but we also have a research partnership with the United States Space Force. So we have these really important questions that need to be answered. They've been sent to us by Space Force senior leadership, 
and we're really relying on our members to answer these questions and if you know you have a paper that you're really proud of a paper that we're really proud of we can not only publish that to our website perhaps even publish it onto other space force related websites but we can also work that up to senior leadership in the space force and have you even present your findings to them we also have our beloved media team that we all know and love including you guys you know john he's been heading this entire video series he's been doing these crash course videos Hopefully you guys have been enjoying. There's even more content to come. This is only season one. We're gonna keep on rolling out these videos and uh, if if they're not good and you guys don't like them, then John, you're, you're fired. We also have our intelligence branch of i5 who is working on creating different intelligence related opportunities. So we have some war games that have been created and also some war games that are still being created. We're gonna push that out to the greater i5 community really, really soon. We also have some cool Intel brief simulations as well as some Intel brief info sessions. If you wanna you know, own in on those Intel skills, uh, that's what those sessions are for. We have our really cool cyber warfare team, which is working on creating these amazing, realistic simulations, pretending that you're hacking enemy satellites, protecting allied forces, conducting global space operations, really cool stuff and these are really these simulations are really meant to replicate the everyday stresses of a cyber warfare officer in the space force at i5 we're also working on our star curriculum the space training and readiness curriculum and what that is it's going to be a four-year curriculum that's focused on educating our members on what opportunities exist within the space force what the space force is and pretty much everything you can imagine within the space domain imagine that as a very in-depth version of this crash course series and last but not least, at i5, we're working on professional development opportunities for our members. So imagine having internship opportunities exclusively available to the i5 community. Imagine base visits, astronaut training. This is all possible and all things that we're working on right now. And we're really trying to leverage the contacts and connections we have in the space domain. That's all I have for you guys today. We're working on a lot in the development side of things. We're really working on creating content to push out to our members. If you want to add to this list, you have an idea that you think we should definitely implement on the national level, feel free to contact me. My information is on the i5 Space website. We'll also, also have John put it in the description down below for this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But for now, this is enough. Uh, I have, do not get paid enough for this. I'm going to pass it back off to John. Wait, Derek, Derek, you get paid for this? No. <laughs> i5 will likely change a lot in the next year and this video could really quickly become outdated. I hope to come back in one of these videos to tell you that we've launched I-5 cadets into space to go collect rocks on Mars or something. If we've learned anything from America and our military, it's that we continue to accomplish the impossible. Keep dreaming big, y'all. I'll see you in the next one, I-5.